The Beloit College Powerhouse has a colorful history and was recognized just months ago by the governor himself. Well, Naomi Coles joins us now to explain. Naomi. The current powerhouse is a transformation of an old Alliant Energy power plant. Opened in early 2020 as a recreation facility for Beloit College students, Governor Evers was there in September to recognize how the renovation met energy efficient goals. Um, the incident um, involved the pool area. Officials don't expect today's hazardous spill to be a lasting concern. Uh, there's no life hazard, there's no hazard to the community or the college campus. So at this time, we're, we're um, we're just working with the company to uh, neutralize the uh, hazardous material. But it comes less than two years into the facility's renovated lifespan. More than a decade ago, Beloit College leaders first saw the potential in an old coal plant slated to be torn down. With millions of dollars in donations and public funds, they transformed it without debt into a multi-use student union rec and athletic center. The project is in very complex. We're essentially building four buildings inside, um, inside a building that's right on the river that was built 1913, 1927, and 1945. It was the renovation's focus on energy efficiency that has drawn award after award. Fitness space right next to academic space, right next to community space. And a visit from the governor two months ago. The folks here at uh, Beloit College early on understood that a focus on sustainability will not only improve the, uh, the bottom line for the college, but also the economy and the uh, community and the environment. City officials also told me today this wasn't a structural issue that could have been caught through an inspection.